Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Some for them hippie girls. Don't I sure? You sure do. Let them hear it. Let them hear it. It's terrifying. It's also terrifying that it works. It's terrifying is right, girl. You know how many intimate unions I've had in the grain of Truth's parking lot? I'll be ripping off yoga pants with my teeth. Who we got next, y'all? Line 7 wants to talk about honey. Dr. Ray D'Angelo, I want all your listeners to know, stop eating honey. My family, we don't even use honey products or conflict honey, as we call it, because honey is made under oppressive circumstances. Bees are kept in servitude and sexual bondage. They're like flying bees. <laughs> Male honeybee genitals explode after sex. Exploding genitals? Damn! I learned how to do that from an ancient Tibetan dude in the mountains when I was over there for a three-month spiritual journey. Well, there was no fast food, so it was pretty damn emotional. I told this ancient dude in the hills, I said, I recycle. I give to public radio and eat organic. But there's an empty part of me that wants a hot fructose corn syrup soda, a big-ass factory farm steak, and to slap hippie girls on the head. Instead of putting up with their neurotic drama and dreadful tasting music. And this dude, he was spiritual as hell. What he said to me? What he said to He said, you have to buy the right books. Listen to the right music. Listen to the girls, hippie drama, and dig down deep inside yourself. Like a boy. And I did. I did, sure. I own um, until my mama threw me out the damn house. And here I am. That was my time in Tibet. At least I think it was Tibet. Are you sure it was Tibet? Oh, I don't know. Some darn place with hills and sheep and everyone singing and cries and all inbred and they played a lot of rugby. Things like that. Tibetan stuff, you know. Funnier if I wanted to. Hey, can I get a cab? Uh, unfortunately, we got no cabs available at the moment. Can you try again later?
Crack. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless-ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be?
<laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet. But you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, yeah, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well... As long as he can't do it without us. Okay. This is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. Fine. I'll call someone who can help. You'll be fine.
this shit! Hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? Christ in oh. hell! Come on, lady! Ah. No fight! What have I gotten myself into? Anyone besides the chicks love it? Ooh, just close. It's, it's virtually a hell food. Let's go to the phones, Marsh. From where to Del Sol? Hey, Ladro, I take real issue with what you said about marching bands. They're brilliant. They're really erotic. <laughs> Marching bands with your matching Napoleonic costumes, turning rock classics and pop hits into garbage. Oh, look, I'm a toy soldier blowing into a tuba. Do you think a stadium full of drunks cares about your stupid song? We want to see bitches shooting t shirts. Oh, look at me. I'm an adult in a marching band. Oh, boy. You need help, dude. At least I'm not pretending to be someone half my age. Good point, Marshall. We got you there, Laz. Speaking of lost souls who need a bunch of help, I think we have the perfect guest for you. Laszlo, introduce him. Coming up on Chattersphere with Laszlo and Michelle. Michelle and Laszlo. That is what I said. It's not. Well, whatever. Let me speak. Being saddled with a woman to appeal to more liberal listeners? I am liberal. Seriously. I've got a TV show, which makes me liberal. So shush, woman. Coming up next, what have we... Uh... to the show. Hello, my child. My children, both of you. Welcome to the now. So good to have you on the show. 
Yeah, it makes a real break from the whack jobs and crazies I normally interview. No, I guess Booker Whoa. gets us celebrities, but the, the publicist makes us take these has-beens and, and won't-bees. I'm not a psychic, Laszlo, but I am sensing a lot of hostility from you. You seem like you are in prison. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't agree more. And do you know who the warden is, Laszlo? Uh, yeah, it's Michelle. No, my child, it's you. Oh, give me a break. Yes, Mark. Yes, Deride. Yes, call me a whack job. You're a whack job. Call me a cultist. You're a cultist. Call me a pervert. You're a pervert. All right. I'm happy. You're miserable. <laughs> I'm not miserable. Okay, I'm in a career slump. There is a difference. Every time I really start to do well in a market, someone at the station goes whining to HR, and then I get moved to a new place, like a, like a man of a cloth. Speaking of cloth, you're a cult leader, so of course you pretend to be happy. So, feeling the amber current. Hey, it's Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to yours. Do with that as you will. Oh, come here, best friend. Oh, come here. Best friend. 
Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Rancho. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Can you give me a ride home, please? Sure thing. I love hitchhikers. Finally, a nice man. Thank you. I live out at Catfish View, Mount Gordo, by the lighthouse. It's very isolated. Am I glad you came along? I was out hiking and got lost. I've been trying to flag down a car for over an hour. Why didn't you just call someone to come pick you up? I couldn't get a signal on my cell. And I don't really have anyone to call. Not since Mama passed. She was very hard on me. How I love Lucky her. miss! I have her hair in my backpack. Okay. What? The 
the days get long out at that house all alone. They don't get many visitors anymore. The gardener used to come on Fridays till he got real sick and fell off that cliff. Folk, well, you know how they like to talk. But now, it's just me, living on soup. Soup I make from old soup. Soup after soup after soup. I have to get out of there sometimes and clear my head. Those damn birds always singing no matter how many times I poison them. Bird soup. Soup with bird. Birds with soup. Every night I think I found peace, but then morning comes and with it another fresh hell. I come up here to escape them and they're still singing, taunting me. No, the house hasn't been the same since Mama passed. Most days, I just work on my project so I can be rich and have all the gentleman callers I want like a real lady sipping on tea on a porch. You know, I love working with rubber, burning it, tasting it. You've got shoes, you've got feet, am I right? Hello? Clothy cloth ears, are you listening? You've got shoes, you've got feet, am I right? Uh, I'm not gonna say you're wrong. But what about shoes that look like feet? Oh, you mean toe shoes? Yes, shoes that look like feet. That's what I just said. Shoes that look like feet. Shoes that look like feet. Feet that have shoes on them that are feet. Because, you know, you can buy those already. No, you can't, Mr. Silly Pants. How can you buy them already if I haven't made them already? Dummy, dummy, dum-dums. I like you. You're silly. The gardener was silly. He got sick. Folk talk. You sure you're okay? Are you okay? Because this guy who picked me up the other week wasn't okay. He choked to death on his own hand. Yeah, okay, it's official. You're crazy. Crazy Maisie sitting on a daisy. Well, what are you gonna do, spank me? Shave me? Lock me in the cellar with a spider called Molly Foster? Dress me up as a boy and make me drink through a little pink straw? Because you can. Mama oftentimes would. Don't pick your scars. Stop eating soil. Where's your pony, little girl? I'm Johnny now. The pony's dead. I hate you. I love you. This is it. Thank you. Here's my number. Will you call me sometime? I get so lonely out here all by myself. I love you.
I'm gonna be there soon. Can't deprive the ladies, right? You've been a bad little girl. Oh, please. I need misunderstanding. Hey. Children aren't I can't right now. I have a little problem I need to bury. Laugh now, motherfucker. Pulling the roost again, sir. That shit? Chop, what you been eating? I gotta get a regimen for your ass. 